Okay, this is gonna be what's up with the hit and miss thing conversion and why I haven't had a video in so long. Alright, there hasn't been any real progress, you know, except for putting the little, you know, little latch out finger, which is this little piece of key stock right here. That there, which I just epoxied or JB welded to the normal rocker arm. I wanted to have it welded on there, but since the rocker was hardened steel and the piece of key stock I used is mild steel, I would have had to, you know, I would have had to anneal the uh, rocker and then retemper it, and it just, it's just not feasible. So. I have, I know what I have to do to finish it, finish this, I know it needs to be done, and I've drawn these little, like, really, uh, rough little plans, just so you can see what, what, uh, my plan is. That's not my dog barking, by the way, it's, I don't have a dog. Okay. This is going to be the bearing setup. Let's bring the light here. This is going to be the bearing setup and the shaft for the auxiliary flywheel. The flywheel on this little motor here, the little weed whacker flywheel, is aluminum. And it doesn't have any weight to it, and it won't keep it. It won't allow it to coast down nice and slow. So I have this flywheel right here, which I made. Jeez, I don't know, almost a year ago now, I, I suppose. We're over that now. And, uh, it's a nice heavy steel flywheel, weighs about 5 pounds. Really a nice, well-made flywheel. And if you could look at the... Let's see. If you can look at the sketch, you'll see. The flywheel, which is with this, uh, zigzaggy line, sits right there on a shaft. This shaft is going to be a half-inch round bar. I will, I'll have to drill this hole out, the center hole out, to a half an inch. It's an eighth of an inch right now, or no, it's a quarter inch right now. So, uh, I'll have to drill that out. Two bearings to support it. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to buy bearing blocks or what. That's, I mean, that's why they're just posts right now. I'll probably get bearing blocks, uh, cheap ones. Um, <clears throat> this is the cross-section view, by the way, and definitely not the scale. Uh, there's going to be a hole drilled into the front of the shaft, where this part of the shaft on the engine will sit into. I'll have a, I'll grind a flat into this shaft right here, so these two set screws can clamp onto the flat there. So, it'll be like that. Right? That's that. And, well, to, to, when, to, when I start it, of course, it'll, it'll probably be like a wrap a rope, wrap, wrap a rope uh, starting. The shaft will come out this way a little farther, and I will um, have a little pulley on it or something. <clears throat> Alright, next uh, is the latch out side, or the latch out for the uh, exhaust valve. That's on the engine, you're looking at the engine like this. See the engine and the picture. Pretty similar. Um, let's do the picture first. This uh, right here will be a piece of uh, billet aluminum. I'll have that milled out. <clears throat> this uh, black or shaded in piece right here is a piece of half inch key stock, which I will have notches milled into the top here, 
where the key stock can slide back and forth freely. Uh, there will be a step or a notch cut into that key stock. And this uh, shaded square right here is actually this l the lockout right here. This right here. This little square piece of key stock is this right here. So you can see this push rod right on top of it. Here's a push rod right here on top of the uh, latch up. <clears throat> when the engine comes up to speed, the governor will push this piece of key stock forward and at the time when the exhaust valve is raised up on the power stroke or on the exhaust stroke, the uh, with the pressure by uh, with the pressure from the governor, this piece of key stock will slide under the uh, this piece of key stock, the latch out finger right here. It'll slide under it, and because it'll have a notch on it, it'll raise it up probably about mm, around a quarter of an inch, about. Not sure. The exhaust valve has about a quarter inch of to of a uh, total travel from fully closed this position here to fully open about a quarter inch of travel. So about a quarter inch. Let's see. I I don't know how I'm how I'm going to mount this to the engine yet. Right here. If I can just show you the size it's going to be, just that's probably going to be from this hole down here, like that, with two supports for the piece of key stock. They'll slide back and forth. All right, that's one last one. The governor. I got some oil on that paper. All right, let's do this. This right here is the flywheel on the engine right here turn this governor governor of course uh... this is a piece of quarter inch key stock right here with uh... just a hinge or a pin so it can turn you know, back and forth like that on that hinge pin right there that will ride in this space here on the governor's spool, this black uh, rod right here is this black rod is this one here, a top view of it. They'll have a return spring, so uh, to help force the governor down when the as the engine's coasting and slowing down, and. Uh, that's just probably just going to be a cotter pin right there, holding that in. Nothing big. Nothing fancy. And that's it. Alright, the reason I can't get it done is because I have graduated now, and I have lost the use of the free machine shop at school. Uh, I, I knew the teacher there real well, so I could, whenever I, whenever I had time, I could go down there and just start making parts. He had all the materials down there for me, just, he just said, have at it. Unfortunately, I don't have that chance to go there anymore. I never will. So I have to find myself a machine shop that I can make up plans and have them make the parts and have somebody do it at a reasonable price. I'm not paying $200 just to have a piece machine. I'll rake something before I do that. So, that's it. Any questions, send me a message.